Hi, I'm Megan with the Group VBS team and I'm here to help you assemble your oddball. We are so excited about Weird Animals VBS and this eye-catching decoration is going to help you kick off your VBS program just right. So let's talk about what you received in the mail. You should have received a package that had 30 of these multicolored panels. I know they're kind of odd shapes, that's what makes them the oddball. I know it looks daunting right now, that's a lot of different pieces, but we're gonna take it slow, we're gonna take it step by step, and pretty soon you'll have your own custom made oddball that you can use throughout your, your church and just to promote and decorate for your VBS. All right, so let's get started on building your oddball. The first thing that I always do is I lay out all my panels by color. So that just keeps them all organized. They're not panels all over the place and I know exactly uh, where they are and how many are left. So for step one, we're gonna pull out one color of each panel. The first thing to know as we work with these is that if you'll notice there's a slope on these pieces. The slope should always be going up to the right. So you can kind of see how it's all of mine are angled up to the right. To uh, get started with step one, we're gonna pick up our first panel. And to um, make it easier to grip, I always just kind of grip it in the center like this and create a little bit of a curve. It just helps as you're putting the puzzle pieces into place. So I have picked up my first panel and then I'm holding it vertically. I will pick up my second panel and I will turn it one notch to the left. And then I'm just gonna hook it in to the corners right there. So once that's hooked in and secured, take your right hand and put it over the overlapping pieces in your top right and just rotate it clockwise one notch. So now your green piece is the vertical piece. You'll pick up your next piece, I'm going with yellow. You can go with whatever color you would like. And I'm gonna lock it in the same way. So once again, I picked it up and I turned it horizontally so now it's perpendicular to my green piece. And just lock it in. Then I will rotate it, so now my yellow piece is the vertical piece. I'll pick up an orange piece, turn it horizontally so it's perpendicular to the yellow piece, and lock it in. And then we'll finally pick up the blue piece. And now my orange piece is the vertical piece. I've turned my blue piece horizontally, and it's locked in. And it's okay if some things pop out, you can just simply pop them back in. And then for the final step on this part, I'm going to lock in my blue piece. And there you have it. That's your first step in creating your oddball. You'll notice that at the bottom, it kind of looks like that. And then you have open parts at each corner. So now that we have that first part assembled, we're gonna uh, start on step two, so we're gonna pull out five more pieces, one of each color. And like I said, you can use any color combination you want. This ball is completely unique and custom made just like each one of us. Um, so let's get going. I'm gonna grab my first uh, step, my bowl, we can call it, and I'm gonna pick up green to start with. And you'll notice that there's peaks and valleys right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up your green. Once again, you can grip it like this. Then you're gonna turn it horizontally. You're gonna lock it into your red right there. You're gonna lock it in two places on this side. And then you'll lock it into the top corner of the blue. So now it's locked in two different places. And then you'll just repeat that step. So once again, we'll go with red this time. I'm gonna pick up my red. I'm gonna turn it one notch uh, to the left, so it's horizontal now. And I'm gonna lock it into my blue and my green right there. And then lock the top corner into my orange, so it's locked in three places. And we'll just continue that step until all five of the pieces in step two are done. So once again, I pick it up, pick up my yellow piece, and I turn it to the left, and I'm gonna lock it in right here. So 
it's locked into place, and then I pick up, and then I lock in my third corner here. And we have one piece left, our final blue piece for step two. So I've picked it up and I've turned it to make it horizontal. And I lock it into place right there. And that's the finishing part of step two. You can see I have uh, extended the bowl and I still have my peaks and my valleys right here. So let's get started on step three. For step three, we're gonna pull out two of each color. So I'll go ahead and do that now. That's no, not two of each color. Okay, so for step three, we're gonna actually use two pieces at a time. So the first part is, once again, you'll notice the peaks and the valleys. So I'm gonna pick up a red piece right here. I'll grip it once again, just to have that easy grip on it. And I'm going to rotate that piece so it's horizontal. And I'm gonna line it up with this piece right here. So you'll notice the valleys right here. I'm gonna line it up at the top of the valley, at the peak. And I'm gonna lock it in to place across the top. So you have a vertical piece going here and then you're making this piece horizontal so it's perpendicular. Then I'll grab a different color and I'll keep that color, that color vertical, that panel vertical. And I'm gonna slide that in and lock that into the piece, the horizontal piece that I just put in. So you lock that here, here, and then you lock your bottom corner to the next panel, like so. So we'll grab another color. Let's grab orange. And we'll once again, this will be our horizontal piece. So we're gonna turn that so it's horizontal. Lock that in to the top of this vertical piece. And then you're gonna just complete the lock right there. So it's locked in three places right now. We'll pick up another color. Let's go red. We'll go with red this time. And we're gonna keep that vertical. So we'll lock that into the bottom of the panel that you just locked in. So it's locked in two places now and then you lock it into the third place right next to it. And we'll just keep that going. So I pick up my next piece and I flip it horizontally, lock it into place in three places like that. And I'll pick up an orange piece, keep it vertical, lock it into my horizontal yellow piece, and lock it the third point, so you're locked in three places. We're almost there. I'm gonna go with a blue, turn it horizontally, lock it in to the vertical piece, like that. So you can start to see that it's going horizontal and then vertical and then horizontal and then vertical once again. So we'll lock it in like so, almost there. This is our final session for, uh, final section for step three. So my final horizontal piece is locked in and then you'll see that there's only one place, there's only one place left for my final vertical piece to go. So it's gonna lock in here, here, um, here, and then up here. So it's locked in four places. And now you'll notice that there aren't any open corners left. They're all locked into place at this time. So that is step three. We're almost there. So for step four, I'm gonna bring out five panels once again, one of each color. And then we will get going step three. All right, so what we'll do here, since all the panels are locked, you're gonna once again see the valley and then how it kind of angles up to a peak. So let's pick up a yellow or whatever color you would like. And you're gonna pick that up and you're gonna once again turn it horizontal and you're gonna match that up with a vertical piece like this. So you'll just lock it in here 
and here. And you're gonna lock it into three places. So you lock here, here, and here, and then you have this open piece left. So let's rotate that and do our next piece. I'm gonna go with blue. I don't have much blue on this side. So I picked up my blue. Once again, it's sloping. Remember, it needs to slope to the right, if you can see that. And then you're gonna flip that to the left. And I'm gonna match that up with this vertical red piece right here. Lock it in in the three different places. So once again, I have an open angle, uh, an open corner here. I'll pick up another piece. I'll have that so my slope is up to the right when I'm holding it vertically, and then I'll rotate it once to the left so it's horizontal. I'll match it up with this horizontal piece and just lock it in. So you can see I once again have an open corner there. We have two more pieces in this round. So I pick up my orange piece and I hold it up like this. I rotate it once to the left and match it up with a vertical panel. In this case, it's my green vertical panel. And I lock it into the three places. And then I pick up my last panel for step three. I'm gonna grip it a little bit so I have that nice curve that makes it easy to assemble. And then I'm gonna turn it once to the left. Lock and I'm gonna lock it to my last horizontal piece in this step. So lock it so it's locked in three places. So now we have three open corners and we are on to our last step. So for our last step, we're gonna bring out the last uh, five pieces. We should have one of each color left. And we're just gonna close up this oddball. So for the first part, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a red piece. So pick it up so it's sloped up to the right. Once again, grip it like so. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually flip that piece all the way over. So now it's flipped like this. And I'm gonna lock it into place right here. So you can see that this piece is horizontal and this piece is vertical. So you're locking to a vertical piece. You're gonna lock your third corner here. So once again, you still have an open corner. Let's rotate it and pick up our next piece. Once again, you'll pick that piece up, rotate it all the way so it's upside down and you'll lock it to your next vertical piece. So it's vertical, horizontal and you lock that in three places. Rotate that around once more, pick up another piece, flip it upside down, and lock it to your vertical piece in three places. One, two, and three. We are getting so close and you are gonna be amazed at how awesome your oddball is. So we're gonna pick up a blue piece here for me and we're gonna turn it upside down, match it up with my horizontal red piece here, lock it in, and now we have our final part. Now this is just a little thing that I've learned. If you wanna go ahead and lock your top pieces, your top four pieces right here, you just lock them into place. And now we only have one area left, which is good because we have one piece left. So we're going to pick that up once again, and remember, we flip it all the way, and then we just line it up and, and lock it in to the four slots that are left. And sometimes you have to finagle a little bit, but it's, it's durable plastic, it's fun to work with, and it'll definitely fit. And there you have it, your very own oddball. We want to see all the unlimited ways that you've used your oddball creation. Share them with us at facebook.com backslash groupvbs.